the problems with using the free version of ACF advanced custom fields or even pods is when you're trying to show a website URL. Now you might say the issue is not that bad because over here we have a headline. I've got the word website. I am using a dynamic tag over here. I am using the pods plugin, which is completely free. Go and watch yesterday's video if you want to understand that. And over here I can pick the website address. The problem is though, is that the title will only ever show what I type in there because if I go to dynamic tags over here and I go down to pods field, you'll see we don't have the website over here. Now, there are two ways you could get around this and I'm going to show you what to do and you can do this with the free version of ACF or even with the pods plugin as well. So when you go over to WordPress, left hand side pods admin, I'm going to do edit pods. Now, if you were using ACF advanced custom fields, you would go to custom fields, but we're going to go here, go to our post type and go to edit. I already have website address already, but I'm going to make two duplicates and hopefully I'm going to show you two different methods that you could utilize. So this one here already has the web address. Okay. No, nothing to do there. Let me now duplicate this. We are going to change this now to just be plain text. Okay. And I'm going to change the description of this or the label in fact, to just be label. And we'll do that on the name as well. So all we have now is just plain text. And I'm pretty sure you can see where I'm going with this. Let's just hit save new field. So we now have the label, but let's not stop there. I'm now going to do another duplicate. And here is the other way that you could do it. And I'm going to bring this all together in a moment. Stay with me on this. I'm going to change this to be the WYSIWYG visual editor like that. And I'm now going to call this one. I'm going to call this one text. Okay. Cause this one will now be driven by like the text visual editor. And again, I hope you understand where I'm going with this. You probably don't. You're probably thinking this is absolute garbage, but trust me, it will make sense. I'm now going to save that field as well. So we've got the web address, which is the URL. We've got the uh, label, which is a text field. And then we have this one here, which is also text, but it's the visual editor. Let me now save this pod. And I am going to go in and edit one that I already had. So let's just edit this. So this has got some fake information and ignore everything we got here. But can you now see we have the website address, which we've already got. I'm now going to copy that and just stick it in as the label. Can you see where we're going here? And now with the visual editor, so this is the duplicated field. This is now the second duplicated field. I'm going to paste that in there and I'm going to turn this into a link, which it already is in a way, right? It turns into a link and I'm going to say the link options are open in a new tab which is kind of good practice to do. Good idea to refresh your page or your template after you've done that. Let's go in over here. So we've got the URL. Remember, if in just in case you're not sure about this, dynamic tag, okay, down here, we have the pods URL field and I have picked the website address. That was the original field that had the URL in. But the title, we're gonna scrap that and instead we're gonna use the dynamic tags we're going to go down to pods field, click the spanner or the wrench. And now we have the option of the label or the text. Well, we know what the label is because that was the first duplicate. So when I click that now, I have the address. And look, if you, if I hover over it, can you see in the bottom left down here? If you go to the bottom left, you'll see it over there. You can see the web address showing up. That now gives you the address. And all you ask the user to do is just do a duplicate of the entry. Pretty, pretty simple, I think. But what about another method? Because we did the second duplicates. So let's do that. Let me now just completely get rid of everything we got there. Okay, get rid of completely everything. And now I'm going to go over to dynamic tags. I'm again going to scroll down and go to uh, pods field. I'm going to go to the spanner and wrench and I'm going to go down to website address text. That will now come over. And look, it has already got the hyperlink in. Method number one required two fields, the website address, and then we added one just for the text. The second one, which was the WYSIWYG visual editor, that already had the hyperlink inside of it because you did the link, right? Remember, look, if, in case you're unsure, let's go back over to here. Look, we've got it there. That now gives you the address and the wording all in one. And I'm not having to get any premium version or anything. I hope that works for you. Or you might have some other methodology. Or you're going to tell me your got this completely wrong. Let me know in the comments. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you. Never
never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that spot.